So we've been busy and um, we've been trying to take care of things. You can see that there's uh, some remnants of the empty cans. Let me walk you down and show you what I did with the uh, with my chainsaw and pole saw. So walking down the driveway, just to give you perspective, over there behind that brush pile is the septic tank and it goes to the leach field under the driveway right here and where all this brush pile is right now, that's the leach field. I need to remove that stuff. But that stuff came from there. So this very tall spruce had all of that growing underneath it. And maybe you can see some of the stumps. Um, there's a lot of smaller stumps, but some of those were actually kind of big. Um, and uh, so I just cut it all the way and started cutting away some of the lower branches um, because it was an absolute mess. I mean, you couldn't see the base of that tree. You couldn't see it at all. It was, it was really, really, really overgrown. So all that needs to be picked up. I'm going to create a pile, uh, another pile, because I have several already, of um, branches and limbs to be chipped and that's what we're going to do next year we're going to create these piles and then i'm going to go rent a really large wood chipper from a local equipment rental house and and we'll just spend an afternoon chipping all this stuff up and we'll get all fresh wood chips and that gives you a little perspective of where we're at so all of this area right here had a lot of brush and law on down trees and so we've been picking it up and cleaning it up and burning it up. This pile of birch logs was cut and dropped down there a couple years ago. So I picked it up and I put it right here, which is adjacent now to our fire pit, which we have been utilizing every night while we are here. Um, don't tell anybody. We've been staying here. Shh, it's a secret. That right there, we're cleaning that out on purpose. Because eventually it will be the path out. There's a little bit of clearing beyond those last trees. And that's where our orchard's going to go. So that's going to be a path. But coming soon, when we move our chickens out here from the village house, that's where they're going to go for the winter. They're, it's right off the house. It'll be easy access to them. And it'll be easy to put them in there. And that's where they're going to overwinter. So the family room and the office, we've been working hard and heavy on those and trying to get them ready. We have carpet installed coming in, a new, in just a few days for them. So the priority was to get these done. So they are completely ready. That means they have been sanded, primed, painted, and I even have all of the outlets and switches and lights in place. I'll walk you around and show you. So yeah, you can see. It's all done. All of the lights are in 
and everything is is ready to go. The only thing we have left to do in here would be the little shelf that has to go along the top of that little knee wall. That open box right there is for speakers that are going to be up along the beam. And this is where thermostat for the zone is going to be. And then in this room, same thing. Um, completely ready except for the shelf that goes over that knee wall and obviously window trim, door trim as well. Um, all of the Cat 6 outlets are in and wired up. Everything comes back to this bag of, of um, where it's going to terminate. Um, and my buddy, he's got a, a termination here that he's already wired up, so we're just going to mount it right here, and then we're going to cover it up somehow and make it pretty, because um, that's where all the modem is going to go. So this little thing right here, I have conduit going out through the wall to another one of these where it goes down to conduit all the way down. And so that will be for allowing like um, the cable from the cable company for our internet connection to come in through the house um, and anything else that I want to have coming in through. It'll come right through there, easy peasy. It's already in place. There's a conduit and uh, you just poke it right through, boom. So we only have trim to do in this room and on the door. The doors are gonna be painted yet too. So today is our last full day on site before we have to go back to civilization and live our normal lives. Normal lives. No, this is our normal life. That, that's the fake life. Um, that wall is going to be primed. I've got a little more sanding to do on it. And that wall will be primed. And then we're going to tackle, i got to sand this wall yet. And we're also going to sand this hallway and get that primed. That's our goal today, is to get all of this stuff sanded and primed. And I also want to work on this master bathroom so that we can get um, a functioning full bathroom working with a shower. That would be nice. Okay, all sanded and ready for primer, except I got to put a little more mud on that corner. It's kind of ugly. Let me go do that right now. Thank you. 